Hi everyone, it's Kaz from Graphics by Kaz here, and today we're looking at how to import custom overlays and graphics into your streams using OBS. Now these may be graphics that you bought from my store or somebody else's store, or ones that you've made yourself. So let's get right into it. So this is OBS, we've just opened it, we haven't done anything to it yet. This is just how it looks when you open OBS for the first time. Uh, you may have stuff that you've already done down here, but today we're just starting with a blank slate. So the first thing I'm going to do is go down to sources and click on the plus button and I'm going to add my overlay. So I'm going to click image and I'm just going to call this overlay. Uh, now we go and use the browse button to find where you put your stuff. So all of my overlay assets are in here, my uh, Paradise Dream Mega Pack. Um, and this is the one we're going to be using today as an example. So today I'm going to use the first one, first overlay. And uh, as you can see, it's already imported at the right dimensions uh, for this scene, which is fantastic. However, if you do want to change it around, you can just grab these little red uh, handles here and then just move them around. Also, just a note, if you hold shift, then you can um, unlock the aspect ratio to do whatever you want with it. And if you unpress shift, then it goes back to being locked. However, this is fine, so we're just gonna leave it as is. So next we're gonna add the webcam. So we're gonna go down here and click the little plus and then click uh, video capture device. So I'm gonna create a new one and just call it webcam. And here I am. Uh, so right now my camera has default um, imports at four free ratio or three four. I forget which way around that goes. Um, however, to fit into this scene, we're going to need a 16 by nine. So your camera might already import at 16 by nine. So don't worry about this step. However, if it doesn't, um, I'm just gonna go down here to resolution and I'm going to click, instead of default device, I'm gonna go to custom. And then I'm gonna to go to the top one here, which is a 16 by nine resolution. Uh, and there we go. So I'm gonna click okay, and here we go. Here's my webcam at the correct aspect ratio to fit this little box we have here. So I'm gonna drag that to the corner up here. I'm gonna grab the little handle like we did before and drag it down to the right size. So you want it to be a little bit over the box here. Uh, but we're going to fix that right now because you've got this harsh edge going along the edge. So we just go down to our sources and we grab the webcam and we pull it below the overlay. You should get this nice little line here. And then there we go. It's below the overlay now. So now we've got two layers, the webcam and the overlay sitting on top of it. So this is where we get the nice rounded edges. Fantastic. Cool. So the next thing I'm going to do is add the game source. So I'm gonna go down to the plus again to add a new element into the scene. Uh, and now I'm gonna to go to game capture and, and I'm, I'll just keep that as a default and call it game capture. So I'm gonna click okay. Um, you don't have to do it this way. You can also do a um, display capture as well, which is slightly different. It captures the entire scene, but today I'm gonna to use the game capture because I think it's better at um, maintaining what you're looking at. Um, and it doesn't flip around whenever you alt tab out of it. It keeps um, the game in focus when you alt tab out, which I find is very helpful while streaming. So uh, capture a specific window and the window I'm gonna choose is Slime Rancher. And I'm gonna click, okay, and there we go. Here's my game. Again, we're gonna grab these little handles and resize it so that it sits just inside the little uh, window we have here and then again what we're gonna do is gonna grab the game capture and pull it below the webcam or be at least below the overlay and there you go now you have the nice rounded edges again so that's kind of it um, it's pretty simple now you're ready to go and stream uh, with your webcam and then also the game footage as well so uh, that's a very quick start guide on how to do that I'm gonna do a couple more videos uh, one on how to get a chat in this box below and then also how to create your own custom scene uh, overlay not like the pre-made ones that I've made using the assets that you can make so there's lots of other things to come I hope you find this useful. Again, if you did like it, make sure you give it a like and then share it with other people if they will find it useful. Thanks so much for joining me, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye-bye.